Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have Neha here with us who's been recently placed at BlackRock and Oracle as a part of her campus placements at VIT. So she is here to share her interview experience with us. BlackRock is an American investment company while Oracle as we all know is a database uh, based company and not just database they have many services. So before we talk to Neha let's look at the eligibility criteria. So BTEC student from all branches with a CGP of 6 or a 60 percent in 10th and 12th and the same in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears were eligible for this role in, Bra in BlackRock and so for Oracle as well all BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a CGP of 6 or 60 percent in 10th and 12th a 7 CGP or 70 percent in the pursuing degree as well as an undergraduation if the student is currently pursuing post-graduation with no standing arrears now let's go ahead and talk to Neha Hi Neha, uh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. So can you introduce yourself to us first? Yeah, so firstly thank you for having me on your channel. I'm Neha and I'm a computer science undergraduate at Bellur Institute of Technology Chennai campus. Okay. Recently I've got selected as an intern at uh, BlackRock INC and also have got an offer as a FTE, FTE offer from the Oracle. Okay. Uh, BlackRock is uh, like basically it's an American multinational investment company based hmm. in the New York City. Okay. And uh, Oracle is a company who which sells the database softwares and technologies. Like particularly, it's known for its brand. Okay. And uh, like the com uh, cloud engineered systems and the enterprise software products and all. Huh. So this is something brief about the company. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so thank you. Talk for introducing yourself and now you can tell us about the placement process for each of them and yeah you can yeah. tell us about so, what happened firstly i'll go with the black rock um it's a super dream company hmm. and firstly we had a short listing based on the cgpa criteria and resume or whatever okay and then we had an online test and hmm. it it lasted for like 87 minutes okay it had five sections in uh, in each section we had like 10 to 12 questions okay uh, which was for 10 to 15 minutes for each question, hmm. uh, like each section. Hmm. Uh, they, it, they mainly focused on the numerical, uh, quants, verbal and the pseudocodes in programming okay. and also DBMS. Hmm. So after completion of this test, uh, we had two or three rounds more. Like um, I had two rounds and some of my friends had three rounds, oh, okay. two technical and one HR. Hmm. I had uh, two interviews in my technical round. Hmm. and. Um, they concentrated more on like the core concepts like uh, OOPS, OS and then they have asked about the projects I have done in my academics and then they have given me a coding question to solve. Okay. Uh, so it was based on the DSA. So it, it lasted around like 30 to 40 minutes. Hmm. And after the completion of uh, my technical round, I have got my HR link directly hmm. in just 5 to 10 minutes or after the completion of the technical round. Okay. And in HR, she mainly focused on my projects. Okay. And she have asked me about uh, some behavioral questions hmm. and if I'm okay with the relocation or not. And she also checked about my family background and all. Okay. So, and she also asked about me the challenges I've faced during the projects or in my life or anything. Okay. She asked me to share that with her. Hmm. After the completion of HR round, um, we got the results on the same day. Okay. We have selected around 30 to 40 members and around, they have shortlisted 100 maybe for the interviews, hmm. out of which they have selected 30 to 40 students. Okay. okay. So this is about the Black Rock. Hmm. And I have also got selected for the Oracle. Hmm. Initially, even they had a shortlisting based on the CGPA eligibility and uh, resume. And then we had an online test in which we had like three que coding questions hmm. in which two were normal coding and one from the SQL coding. Okay. And then there were some MCQs which were technical too. Hmm. And after the clearing this test, we had two technical rounds. I did not have any managerial HR round for this. I had two technical. In first round, they have focused on my projects, on my resume hmm. and the skills I've mentioned in my resume and mostly the concentrated on OOPS, DBMS and the skills I have mentioned in the resume. Okay. And in the second round, this was even this was a technical round. In this, they have mainly focused on only DBMS. Okay. 
you are asking more about the SQL and um, how this banking sector is related with the D, uh, DBMS and how to use this in that sector. Hmm. We were mainly focused on that in this round okay. for me. Okay. So post completion of these two rounds, uh, they have announced the results on the same day. Hmm. They have actually interviewed for 40, 44 students, okay. out of which they selected 23 students. Okay. Okay. So this is about the Oracle one. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for sharing your experience and do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into good companies or if you have anything specific for Oracle yeah. or BlackRock? Like um, we need to have some good hold on theory concepts like the OOPS, OS networks and DBMS okay. and also we need to have uh, good knowledge about the coding. Uh, we need to practice coding daily. Hmm. Uh, we need to start practicing since the first year. Okay. to get into a good company but mm. um, we didn't know that so we started learning coding and we have concentrated on it in third year right right so yeah like we need to have good personal projects also we need to explain it in detail with the interviewers mm. and mainly we need to be confident while we are answering in the, in the interviews mm. okay okay uh, thank you so much for your suggestions and for sharing your experience and yeah thank you thank you Please do like, share and subscribe. That would be really helpful and motivating for me to get more uh, people to do videos.